handler, and he's got a good shot, too, and he's averaging about 10 points a game as a freshman. That's, that's saying a lot. Yeah, right on. Rochester wins the tip. They are in their road blacks going to our left. Reinhold with the basketball on, high on the right side against the man-to-man -man defense. Bounce pass to Utter behind the wing, uh, behind the uh, three-point line right in front of the Wabash bench. Cross court and throws it out of bounds. At least from the starting standpoint, Zebras have a height and strength advantage. Uh, you can tell this must be a Wabash team likes to get out and run because there's not a lot of size. A lot of looks like a lot of quick guards, but Zebras may be one of those games they can pound the ball in the yeah, post to Ben and, and Brady and even Utter can shoot over guys. Rochester uh, as well will start in a man-to-man -man defense. Beecham high on the near side to Vandervelden. Outside to Mat Matron. Mattern gives it to Daltry and gives back to Mattern on the left side. Inside the three-point line at the free throw line. Gives out to Vogel. He gives to Vandervelden. Outside to Mat Mattern. Straight away three for Daltry goes. Yeah, and you can tell they're just trying to spread you out. Five guys outside the three-point line, and they're running the dribble drive motion offense themselves. They're going to try to drive it, spread you out, kick it, or take the open three if it's there as it was that time. Right hold in the lane, loses the basketball, pin press, picks it up and puts it over the front of the rim and in. And we're tied, and make that uh, the uh, three-point lead is now down to one, three to two, Wabash. The Apaches walking through the center circle. Mattern outside of Daltrey in the paint. Leaner on the way off the window against Nye is no good. And the ball is going to be tipped out of bounds. Last touched by Rochester. It'll stay with the Apaches baseline right. Good hustle by the freshman. Missed the shot but hung around and battled Ben Perez on the boards to at least maintain possession for the Apaches. Vogel, a freshman, will look to get it in. Baseline right underneath in his own basket. Gets into the corner to Van de Velden. Uh, Velden. His floater on the baseline goes down. Van der Velden with two, and it's 5-2 to two, Wabash. A minute and a half gone here in the first quarter at Wabash High School. Brady Perez against the man-to-man -man defense. Hands off to Nye, right elbow. His pass knocked away. He picks up the loose ball behind the arc right in front of the Wab Wabash bench. Now to Ryan Holt, top of the key. Jordan holds against the man-to-man -man defense. Works against Daughtry. Right side to Nye. Nye back door to Ben Perez. Layup is good. Nice play by the Zebras. They were coming out, sprinting out Ben Perez like he might set a ball screen, and Ben backed up, and Jake found him going back door. Nice pass. Good finish by Ben. You can only find that back door stays if you're anticipating that. Yeah, it must have been a set the Zebras worked on because they both guys knew what they were looking for. Vanderbilt, Belden. Now to Beecham. Behind the arc to Daughtry against Nye. Top of the key to Matt. Mattern, his three on the way is good. Well, if you're going to give the young man a wide open look, they're going to knock it down. It's pretty clear the, the, this game is going to be the three-point shot, the perimeter of Wabash, and the Zebras just need to pound the paint because yep. Ben Perez, everybody on the floor for the Zebras, even Jake Nye has a height advantage in the starting lineup. Perez misses the bunny, but Jake Nye grabs a rebound on the right elbow and brings it out and resets for Rochester, top of the key. Hands off to Jordan Ryan Holt, middle of the floor at the volleyball line. <laughs> Takes Daughtry to the right side. Hands off to... Nye behind the arc on the right wing. Out to Utter now. Utter goes to the basket. Rises up. High off the glass. No good. Ben Perez put back. No good. But I believe we're going to have a foul against Wabash on the play. And that probably should send Ben Perez to the line to shoot two for the Zebras. Utter's got about a six-inch height advantage on his guy. <laughs> everybody else has at least a couple. And that's saying a lot. When you know that everybody, including Jacob Nye, has a size advantage, <laughs> that says should say a lot about it where the size discrepancy is here tonight. Perez, first free throw in and out. Ben, that is. One more coming for the senior. 8-4 to four, Wabash. 5-0-9 to play in the first quarter. Second for the senior is good this time. Ben has all five, and it's 8-5 to five, Wabash. Zebra set up a 1-2-2 two, two, three-quarters court trap. Vogel. Back to Mattern. Ahead to Beecham. Beecham breaks the press. Right wing pass to Vogel. Vogel splits the defense and throws it right to Jake Nye. Turnover Wabash. Nye pushes to our left. Nye gives to Ben Perez. He bounces it off his foot right to the hands of Wabash. Mattern between the rings. Goes to the basket. Layup no good. And he cannot save from going out of bounds. Going back to Rochester. Wow, we better not find another gear stays. <laughs> Wabash is quick. Yeah, when they break the press or when even they don't have it, they're going to come down and try to get that ball put up in the rim as quick as possible. They're not really trying to work offense. They're trying to score and get open threes and layups. Butter to Brady Perez. Brady Perez against the double team. Wrap around pass to Jordan. In the paint. Reiser off the left-handed uh, glass is good. And Rochester cuts the lead down to one again at 8-7. to 4.23 to play in the first quarter. 1-2-2 two, two again for Rochester. Vogel against the uh, sideline. Turns it over again. Nye has it again. Lock pass ahead to Brady Perez. His right-handed layup is good. And Rochester up 9-8. to eight. 
It's one of those games where the zebra shot chart's got to be all colored in from five feet in. Yes. I mean, just keep working that, maybe mixing a few outside shots, but should be able to pound the paint against these guys, especially if they stay in a man-to-man -man defense. Matter has his pass tipped out of bounds by Nye. And it'll be Wabash basketball right in front of the scorer's table across court. Zach Deshaun in for the first time tonight. Also, Corbin Wood comes in for the Rochester Zebras. Also in for Wabash is Cal Stone, a 6'2 senior. Mattern against the 1-2-2, two, two, the Rochester Z uh, defense. Vogel around the defense. Skip pass to Stone. Now to Mattern from the right elbow is off the back of the rim. No good. Offensive rebound for Wabash. Vander Vellen is foul on the shot. He'll go to the line to shoot two. Foul's going to be on... Corbin Wood just came in, his first, team's first. Boy, Mattern, he does not need a lot of time to get that shot off. No, nope. well, the ball's in his hand, yeah. it's going up. Well, again, Luke Mattern, 5'10", stretching him a little yeah. bit, so you know as well as I do, he's got to be quick catching and shooting. If he's 5'10", I'm 6'3". <laughs> <laughs> and I'm not 6'3". Vandervelden's first free throw is no good for Wabash. He'll have one more. 9'8", Rochester, 3.43 to play in the first quarter. Vander Velden back to the line for one more for the Apaches. Eyes the second one, and that one rims out. Wood picks up the rebound, gives to Reinhold. Now Wabash in a 1-2-2 two, two themselves, three-quarters court trap. Deshaun yet to cross the timeline, finally does to Brady Perez high on the left side. Brady Perez now on the baseline, against the double team. Wrap around pass to Deshaun. Deshaun on the left wing, picks up his dribble, now to Reinhold near the timeline. Wood high on the right side for Wabash, back to Reinhold, top of the key between the circles. Bounce pass to the Brady Perez, out to Deshaun, three ball left wings, no good. The air ball picked up and put back by Corbin Wood, and Rochester now up 11-8. Nice pass by uh, Zach Deshaun to <laughs> get the lob pass to Corbin Wood. I'm sure it'll go down to a, as an assist in the book <laughs> as well. Stone against the double team for Walbash. Gets it on the baseline, Vander Velden, he rises up, puts it off the glass, no good. The put back by Matter is good. That's discouraging. One of the smallest guys on the court ended up getting the offensive rebound. Yep. Zebras are in there. They just got to get a body on somebody. 2.45 to play in the first quarter. Rochester leads 11 to 10. Rochester got to hurry and get it across. Deshaun finally does as he jump stops out to Wood down the right wing. Corbin Wood jump stops down low to Ben Perez. The wide open jumper from the left side of the glass is good. Seven first quarter points for Ben. 13 of the uh, seven of the 13. Rochester back up by three. Beecham splits the deep defense. Vander Velden from the baseline. The floater is no good. Brady Perez grabs the board, hands off to Reinhold. Jordan jogs it through the uh, center circle. High on the right side to Wood. Wood behind the three-point line. Back to Jordan near the center circle with 2-10 to play in the first quarter. Rochester up 13-10. Same thing here. Man-to-man -man defense by Wabash. Ben's got a couple inches. See if they move the ball around and try to get a post up or Jordan can post up yeah, as well. Yeah, I agree. Corbin Wood jump stops and travels. 1.57 to play first quarter. Jacob Nye back in, Utter back in, Reinhold and Brady Perez to come out. I got three turnovers for each team so far. I think that's the freshman uh, Eli Vandervelden that just came in, 6'5". Okay, didn't have him in my scorebook. Nope, nor is he on the varsity okay. roster. 1.45 to play first quarter. Rochester by three at 13-10. Uh, the pass is almost stripped mm -hmm. away, and in doing so, uh, Deshaun has just picked up a foul. Nickel dimer on that one. Yeah. That's, that's kind of a cheap one. I don't know. Usually it's advantage, disadvantage. I don't think that really influenced the play, but Zach's going to pick up his first team second. Daughtry back into the game, and Vogel to sit down. Stone to look to trigger it in. Does to Daughtry. Man-to-man -man defense by the Rochester Zebras. High on the left side of Mattern. Mattern fakes left, drives to the right, throws up a shot. He's going to be fouled on the layup, and Corbin Wood has just picked up foul number two. Yeah, Corbin Wood second, team's third. Uh, updates here from Joe McCarter. Yes. The swimmers, uh, if I can make sense of this, uh, the 200 free relay um, cut about a half a second. They ended 27th in their first race. I'm not sure how that works. Abby McCarter's getting ready to run the breaststroke. First one I mattered is good. Say that again. What relay? That would be the, the 200. The, that's what he says. Wait. 200 free relay? You're telling me this is a, the relay team that won the sectional. And we're in 27th place. Yeah, After we're in that 27th first, place. first heat. Yeah. That's, that's how fast the state is. That is unbelievable. 
in a non-class sport. Yeah, under, very true. Understand that, yeah. Butter with the basketball. You have a Carmel team down there that's won 30 plus straight state championships. Nye cross lane pass to Ben Perez off his fingertips and out of bounds. Well, I can I get I get Carmel maybe mm -hmm. being the fastest at the top two, but there's 26 mm -hmm. relay teams in the state. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Brady Perez checks back in. Ben Perez to sit. 1-12 to play first quarter. Rochester up 13-12. Wabash basketball after the Rochester turnover. Matter will walk it through the uh, center circle. He'll be picked up by Jacob Nye at the three-point line. Right side to Eli uh, Vandervelden. Back to Logan Vandervelden. Left wing. Straight away three for Daltrey. Is good. That's his second three of the night, and Wabash back up 15-13. Really important for the Zebras to finish this quarter. Well, they were up 13-10. Now they're down 15-13. Yep. Finishing the quarter, get a good look. Last second shot going tied, maybe up, up one. Ryan Holt gets the handoff from Utter, takes it to the free throw line. Now denies the right elbow. Hesitates, now drives, throws up a shot over the defense. No good. And younger, uh, younger Vandervelder with the rebound to Mattern. Mattern pushes through the center circle with 20. Coast to coast, goes to the basket, layup is good, and a foul. Wow. Yeah, he got, young man got the ball out quick, kind of a contested shot by Jake Nye in one end. Turns out he gets the rebound and he's going. Zebra slow back in transition. And Jake Nye picks up his first team's fourth foul. And Mattern's going for the line, opportunity to get the end one. Mattern, a 5'10 junior for the Wabash Apaches. Beecham, the only starter right now that, uh, that's a senior. The, only, the other senior, uh, Kelsheimer, he's hurt tonight and is normally the starter, but uh, the future is extremely bright for the Wabash Apaches. Yeah, these guards may not be the biggest in physical stature that we've seen, but they've got a good knowledge of the game, and they're quick up and down the floor. Now they're on a 10-0 run. As they lead, uh, make that an 8-0 run, as they lead right now by five at 18-13. Six seconds. Reinhold around the defense with five. To Nye with three. His three is knocked out of bounds, or blocked out of bounds, I should say, by Vander Velden. And it'll stay with Rochester with two and a half seconds to play. Baseline right. It's all right. Coach Reinhold saying, hey, we still get the ball back. Let's, let's yep. don't worry about that. We get the ball back. Let's try to get another shot. Utter to Nye with two. Nye to Reinhold. Three. At the buzzer is no good. After one, Wabash leads the Rochester Zebras. 18-13, you're listening to Zebra Basketball, 92.1 WROI and RTC TV4. Going to the second quarter, Wabash will start with the basketball going to all right, now stays up by five. Yeah, and we had mentioned the big game in the TRC. Southwood leads McConaughey 13-9 after one. Scores, thank courtesy to Bow tonight. Uh, send me the score again. 13-9 Southwood okay. over McConaughey after the first quarter. Well, that'd be a nice big matchup, won't it? Yeah. Jumping the lane is no good by Wabash, but Vogel gets the rebound. Matter for three straight away, short. And Wabash gets the rebound again. Vogel fakes a three. He's in the paint, loses the handle. Brady Perez picks it up. Three on two break for Rochester. Brady Perez loses the handle. Ball loose. Wabash gets it. Forces another Rochester turnover. Daughtry, cross range pass to Stone. His layup off the left side is good. Just a scrappy Wabash bunch. I mean, it's not, they're just trying to make plays. It's really nothing fancy. They're just 
They know they don't have a lot of size, so they're just trying to scrap and get loose balls and hit the rebounds. Now Wabash on a 10-0 run, 20-13 right now with a minute gone in the second quarter. Reinhold to Utter. Utter back to Reinhold between the rings. Man-to-man -man defense by the Wabash Apaches. Feeds inside to Ben Perez, out to Reinhold. Takes a three, goes the lane, out to Deshaun. Drives the baseline, kicks it out to Reinhold. And another steal. Rochester steals it back. Ben Perez gives to Brady. Lob pass to Utter on the left side to Brady Perez straight away. Outside to Reinhold. He drives. Comes down low to Ben Perez, and we're going to have a tie-up, and it'll stay with Rochester. Ben Ooh. Perez kind of blocked down low. Yeah. And they're going to call a jump ball, and it'll stay with uh, Rochester baseline right. Yeah, this has now turned into a 10-0 run for Wabash over about the last four minutes. I mean, Zebras just haven't been able to get back into the offense, and defensively, they're giving up uh, quick shots and offensive rebounds. Butter on the baseline, spinner on the block, stripped away, picked up by Ben Perez. Ben's leaning it on the way. It's good and a foul. Ben, nine points. Chance to get ten here if he makes this free throw. Foul is on. Cal Stone, his first, team second. 6.37 to play in the first half. Wabash up 20 to 15. Ben Perez, free throw is no good as it bounces along the top of the backboard and falls out of bounds. Ben, one for three from the line. Only Zebra to go to the line at this point. He does have nine. Yep. Zebra's in a 1 2 2 again, three quarters court trap. Daughtry picks up his dribble before he gets to the timeline to Vogel. He'll cross it. Back to Daughtry, high on the right side. Baseline to Stone. Down low to Vander Velden. Kicks it out to a wide open matter, and his three off the back of the rim, no good. Jordan rips and runs for Rochester. Middle of the floor, out to Brady Perez. Brady hesitates, leans in, gets away with a charge. The shot no good, gets his own rebound. The ball stripped away, ball loose on the floor. There's a scramble for it. There's a more or less a scrum for it. It's tied up. It'll go back to Wabash. Maybe more so than a lot of teams I've seen to this year, Wabash is just very willing to just poke the ball, poke at the ball, right? Just get a reach in, try to knock it loose. You know, they don't seem to be very wary of fouls or anything like that. They're just trying to make a play. Well, when 6-5 is dribbling, 5-6 sure. <laughs> yeah, Yeah, good point. 1-2-2 <laughs> two, two again by Rochester's defense. Out to Daughtry. Down low to White when Vander Velden, his right-handed layup is good. 22-15, Wabash up with 5.50 to play in the first half. Right hold through the center circle. Left side to Deshaun. Deshaun takes his man to the right elbow, out to Reinhold. Now top of the key to Brady Perez. Brady lob pass into Utter over his head, right into the hands of Wabash. And now Daltrey through the center circle. His pass is going to be tipped out of bounds by Brady Perez. It will stay with Wabash right in front of the Rochester bench. Turnover is creeping up for the Zebras. I have them at six here with 5.35 left in the second, down seven points. Wabash with the basketball going to our right. Daughtry high on the left side. Vander Velden just inside the arc. His 18-footer is good. And now Rochester will take a 30-second timeout. You're listening to Zebra Basketball, 92.1 WROI and RTC TV4. Back at Wabash High School, 5.21 to play in the first half. The Apaches now out by to a nine-point lead at 24-15. They come out of the timeout at 1-2-2. Half-court trap. Jordan breaks the, uh, the, the press. Ryan, uh, Utter throws up a shot. No good. Ben Perez with the rebound. Against the triple team. Kicks it out to Reinhold. Quickly to Utter. Back to Reinhold. Three. Left wing for the Zebras. is no good. Vander Bellen with the rebound. He rips and runs for the Apaches up by nine. Vander Bellen. Down low to Stone. His jumper on the way is no good. And right over the rebound. Jordan now slows things down for Rochester. They're down by nine with five, uh, 4.45 to play in the first half. Jordan's crossover dribble stripped away. He picks it up. He's in the paint. Down low to Utter. Rises up. Shot no good. And a foul coming to Wa uh, Wabash. Yep. Zebra's getting what they need to do is getting back to attacking inside five feet. Uh, moving the basketball. And that time Jordan did attack. Austin stayed on the block. Guys uh, dumped down from Jordan to Austin. Went up. 
Couldn't get the end one, but he's going to go line to shoot. Well, Tony, both you and Rex have said before, we will pass up a good shot to take a higher percentage or a great shot, and that's exactly what Jordan did right there. He was at the free throw line. He rose up and saw Edo wide open on the block. Yeah, and that's what you want as a coach. That would have been an okay shot for Jordan from about 12 to 15 feet, but he saw Austin on the block, and we've talked about the size advantage, how they all have, made an unselfish play, and dump the ball down to Austin, and he's going to get one out of two free throws. Second one, no good. Vogel with the rebound. Vogel backs it out. Rochester sets up a press off the miss. I like it. Yep, 2-2-1, two, two, half-quarter court. Mattern to Haynes, who's in the basketball game, and now Rochester turns it over, or turns Wabash over. Utter left baseline to Ben Perez, cutting through the lane, has his pass stripped out of bounds. Actually, the ball stripped out of bounds. It'll stay with uh, Rochester baseline right. Hey, we'd like to give a shout-out to Chris Beecham, who's at home tonight, listening, a little under the weather. You can thank Bill Barrows for that, Chris. 4.23 to play in the first half. 24-16, Wabash. Inbounds pass comes in to Reinhold. Now to Corbin Wood is back into the game. Lob pass to Utter in the paint. Outside to Nye. Nye holds. Takes Matter into the right wing. Hands off to Reinhold. Back to Utter on the baseline. Wrap around pass down there to Ben Perez. Back to Nye. Fakes a three. Drives the baseline. Cut off by the defense. Left wing pass is tipped away and out of bounds. Uh, let's see here. Uh, <laughs> another update from Joe McCarter. Abby McCarter uh, in the breaststroke dropped two tenths, ended 23rd. Five tenths. <laughs> Come on. Five tenths out of the top 16. Five tenths of a second out of the top 16. Seated one. Uh, gain not quite enough. Little baby hook in the lane by Utter goes. So. Jeez. That is unbelievable to me. So and I know nothing about swimming, but I know that's fast. Vandervelt in the lane is no good, but a foul coming to Rochester. And that's going to send Logan Vandervelt back to the line to shoot two for the Apaches. And looks like the 400 free relay added about four seconds, and they're going to end up about 30th. So, so far, tough night between the two relays and Abby's race in the breaststroke. Free throw but by is no good. Sounds like, if I'm reading this right, Abby was five-tenths of a second from making the top 16, which would have put her into the tomorrow, to the finals. 16, not 18. I think the 16 okay. make it the finals. Second one is good this time by Vander Velden. So, yeah, think about all that, especially in a sport like that. To and come as good as they were all were this year. Five-tenths of a second. Yeah. You know, half a second to crazy. Ryan Congratulations, a, a monster here for the swim Oh, team. I totally agree. I mean, they almost rewritten the entire swim records for the girls and did so in a bunch in about 30 minutes of last weekend's races. They broke about six school records in the span of about 30 minutes. Congrats to Coach Brown, Coach Reaney, all the other coaches just do a tremendous job, and uh, that program is definitely rolling, so hats off to them. Fan fantastic year, however it ends up for the girls, and, of course, the guys are coming up. Think about a week or so, the boys' sectional starts. Do you ever see a time where swimming, wrestling, cross-country ever goes to class? I don't know. A uh, lot more dynamics to it. Um, not a lot of as much participation in those sports as the class sports. So there's some logistic issues with that. Vandervelden gets the offensive rebound and puts it back for two. And Wabash back by nine with 2.50 to play in the first half. Ryan Holt against the double team. In the paint, leaning on the way out. The glass is good. Nice move by Jordan to get back, attack into the rim. He's got four. 27-20. Wabash on top. Liam Leininger in the game for the first time for the Zebras. Daughtry crosses the timeline against the double team. Down low to Vander Belden and through his hands and out of bounds. It'll go back to Rochester. So that uh, trap forced a turnover, and they get it back down by seven. Big possession here. Obviously, we've yes. talked about this many times. You get into the final couple minutes of the half, a chance to, you know, finish strong and cut into the seven-point lead, and you, you definitely do not want uh, Wabash to extend this lead the last two minutes. Yeah. Hunter stands the basketball above his head against the man-to-man -man defense. Nye, left wing, feeds down low to Ben Perez. Ben against the double team, kicks it out to the lightninger, not on Nye left wing, right wing pass to Reinhold. Jordan with the basketball, looking inside. Wabash doing a good job taking away our post players right now. And Jordan Ryan holding the right elbow. Cut off by the defense. Outside of Leininger between the rings at the, at the circle. Leininger around the defense. 
Jump stop is taken away. We're going to have a blocking foul on Haynes. And basically, Haynes bails the Zebras out. Uh, I beg your pardon. That's going to be Vandervelden. Vandervelden uh, bails the Zebras out because Leininger turned it over as soon as the foul occurred. Only Wabash's fourth team foul, so Zebra's not yet shooting free throws. Seven-point lead for the Apaches, 153 to play in the first half. Utter baseline right, lobs it in to Reinhold between the rings. Jordan at the free throw line, kicks it out to eye. Three ball left wing, good! Jake's first points of the game. Nice kick out by uh, Jordan. Yep. 1-2-2 two, two, half-court trap again by the Zebras. And Rochester cuts the lead to four, the 100 second of the play in the first half. Mattern, bounce pass to Beecham at the... Elbow, rises up, shot no good. Ball being tipped around, Wabash comes out of there with it. Matter with the basketball. Still rolling around, no call, throws it away. Leininger picks it up. Leininger on the baseline. And he is fouled 75 feet away from the basket. Yeah, don't want that one there. If you're Wabash, I'm guessing, as Vandervelden gets his second, team's fifth. Find a glasses strap, young man. Those actually got knocked off that time, too. Yeah. I and mean, that was... 1.20 to play in the first half. Rochester down by four. They've got the basketball going to our left. Tony Stasiak. I'm David Musselman. Right hold across the timeline. Yep. Still in a man-to-man. -man. Uh, I think if the Zebras can get a good look like they did last time, though, they'll be okay, but I don't think they need to force anything here. Leininger drives, throws it up over the defense. No good. Vandervelden with the rebound. He rips and runs for the Apaches up by four with a minute to play. He goes coast-to-coast. -coast, right-handed layup. No good. And Ben Perez with the rebound to Reinhold. And it looks like uh, Rochester stays. will look for the final shot of the period. 27-23, Wabash. Reinhold will go all the way to the basket. Oh. Has his ball stripped away. Stolen by Wabash. Mattern. Wraparound pass to Daughtry. And he can't save from going out of bounds. Rochester will have another try at it with 41 seconds this time. As Brady Perez and Zach Deshaun checked back in. Utter and lining over to come out. And we think the Zebras want the last shot. <laughs> <laughs> Coach won it last time, kind of last two possessions, Zebras have kind of forced up. Leininger had one that was trying to shoot over two people, and Jordan had one trying to rise up over somebody. See if they do get the last shot this possession. Deshaun out to Brady Perez at the free throw line. A nine behind the arc between the rings, now on the right wing. 25 seconds, gives to Reinhold, works to the right side. Crossover dribble in the paint, rises up from 12, short of the shot. Rebounded to Deshaun. Deshaun from five feet off the glass. No good. Bit, uh, the put back by Reinhold's no good, but a foul coming on Haynes, and that'll send Jordan Reinhold to the line to shoot two with 14.4 to play in the first half. That's going to be Haynes' first team sixth. Jordan going to the line for the first time tonight. He's got four. 27-23. Wabash with the lead. Rochester with the line to shoot two, and again with 14 and a half seconds to play in the first half. The junior eyes the first one. And it's good. Here's one for you. Extra info from Val. We mentioned about the 200 free relay being in 27th place. Uh, they went the second fastest time in school history and got 27th place. <laughs> Cruel sport. It's ridiculous. Cruel sport. Jordan hits the first one. He's got one more. The second one is good again. And now Utter comes into the game. Rochester now down by two. They were down by nine a couple of minutes ago. 14.4 to yeah, play in the first half. Nice nice run here by the Zebras these last two minutes. You know, after being down seven, to only be yeah. down two. Let's finish it off with a stop here. Vogel picks his way through traffic with seven seconds, puts it in, a layup with three, with two, with one. Nye, half quarter at the buzzer is no good. And well, now I think we have a foul, foul. Vogel. Yes, yes. I think that's a great call. Yes, it is. Congrats. Uh, Great comeback of the Zebras to hang in there. I mean, that good run, they lost the lead. Uh, so many times we've seen them lose a the lead and then it kind of blows up on them, but they hung in there and only down two. That's a big momentum boost, and let's see if they can capitalize it on this possession. Otto loses the basketball, picked up by Beecham. Gives the matter. 29-27. Wallbash with the lead and with the basketball with 30 seconds gone in the third quarter. Tony Stasiak, I'm David Musselman. Daughtry outside to Vogel. Now to Mattern. Mattern spin move in the lane. Rises up from 10 feet and puts it in. 12 for Mattern to lead all scores. 31-27. Wallbash back by four. Biggest lead of the night was at uh, nine. 
at about the four minute mark of the second quarter. Utter between the rings against the man-to-man -man defense. Takes the logo to the elbow and then the back door pass is knocked away. Picked up by Matt, uh, Daughtry. Daughtry coast to coast, right handed layup is good. Good heavens, somebody step up and stop that guy. Yeah, this, this is Wabash team's dangerous, those live ball turnovers. They get the live ball turnover, they're going. You better sprint back because they're looking to get a layup or a three. Wabash will stay in the man-to-man -man defense. 6.43 to play in the third quarter, 33-27. Wabash, Brady Perez high on the left side, right in front of Coach Reinhold, wrap around, pass to nine between the rings. Jacob feeds down low to Ben Perez. Ben leaner on the way is good and a foul. Yep, I think that's the recipe, pounded inside. Ben now has 11. Uh, be patient enough, especially if they're going to stay man-to-man. -man. Move the basketball around, and let's try to get some post feeds, some isolations down there on the block, and, and get some scores that way. And then when they start collapsing, then the kick out to the threes, and then the kick out to the drives will open. So, Ben, I think we've got, we got some, some blood. blood. Yeah. Senator Vander Velden is uh, cross court. And they're going to work on his jersey, and we're going to have to bring back in Stone to replace him. Been going to the free throw line where he's one of three so far for the night. So Ben Perez to the line. Rochester down by four, 33-29. And Perez with one. Ben misses the first free throw, misses the free throw, I should say. And picked up by Mattern. Wabash runs to our left. Mattern coast to coast. He throws a shot up. We're going to have a foul on Reinhold, and that's going to send Mattern to the line to shoot two for the Apaches. He comes away uh, kind of wiping his brow a little bit because he thought it was going to be a charge. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> a little lucky on that. And nice job by Jordan. Tried to take a charge just a little late. Only his first, so no foul trouble there. So Madden at the line to shoot two. First one is good. Nothing but net. What did you say Wabash was in the first half? Wabash was four of seven from the free throw line, but Madden himself was three of three, now four of four. He's got 13 points to lead all scores. Second one for Mattern. And it's good again. 35-29 Wabash. Rochester's basketball. Jordan shouts out instructions from near the timeline against the man-to-man -man defense. Works against Daughtry. High on the left side to Brady Perez. Brady holds now to Ryan Hole between the circles. Right wing pass to Utter. Utter looking down low to Ben Perez and missed him. Looking to get it into yeah. him. Cross-court pass to Brady Perez in the left wing. There now the Ben in the paint has the pass knocked away, but Stone is going to be called for the reach in. That's a big foul. Stone's played good post defense on Ben, the one post defender Wabash has, but that's his third foul. Vander Velden still on the bench. Yeah. No, he's back in. Pass comes in to Brady Perez to Utter. Drives the left baseline. Kicks it out to Brady Perez. Fakes the three inside the paint. Leaner on the way from 10 feet. Partially blocked. Put back. Is going to foul. Yeah. Good stick to by Brady. Missed the five-footer, stuck with it, came and got the offensive rebound because nobody blocked him out. Stuck with it, got the end, one opportunity here at the line. Rochester with an opportunity to cut this lead to three as Eli Vander Velden comes back into the game for Wabash and Stone, with like Tony said, with three fouls, comes out. So Brady Perez of the line for one to try to complete the three-point play, the free throw too hard, and the rebound to Wabash. Matter into the basketball. Rochester sets up the press off the miss. Vogel to Daughtry. Drives it left hard on the left baseline. Pass down low to Eli Vandervelden. His shot no good. Ben Perez with the rebound to Utter and out of Reinhold. Zebra's fortunate there. That was a point yes. blank wide yes. open layup that he missed. Reinhold left wing to Utter between the circle straight away. Pass is forced in. Taken away by Wabash. Daughtry will go coast to coast. Left handed layup is short. And Ben Perez another board. Now to Nye, Rochester the numbers. Nye has his pass kicked away by Mattern, or we might have seen a two-handed flush. Yeah, they were trying to set up Brady. Good look by Utter. Uh, last time down the court, good look for Ben, but you got to throw it away from the defense. He, he needed to throw that ball more away from the defender's hand. We were able to knock it away. Zebra's going to set up underneath out of bounds. 5-14 to play in the third, 35-31. Wolbash, lob pass to Utter. Austin. Step through. He's going to be fouled on the shot, and he's yes. going to get it to go. Yes. This is the quarter of and one opportunities for the Zebras. Three in this this quarter. Yep. Yep. They haven't hit the free throw yes, yet on the first two, so <laughs> let's break that streak. So Austin Utter at the line to shoot one, now looking to cut to the Wabash lead 2-1. Utter eyes it, flies it. Nope. Ugh. 
And Vogel with a rebound. Vogel pushes for the Apaches right up the middle. It's going to be fouled. Oh, we're going to have a travel after he runs into Ben Perez. Not quite as interesting as the double foul on the IU-Purdue game last night. <laughs> Didn't see it. Oh, my gosh. It had to be. I don't know that that's ever possible. A block charge that got called, both a block and a charge. And it fouled out Swan again and um, Bryant. Never seen it before in my life. Not two guys mixing it up. It was a drive in. A block and a charge? At the same time. Yep. Called double foul. Never seen it before. Same guy? Yep. Ryan Holt, the free throw line. Underhand pass to Utter. Austin Utter then is going to be fouled on the reach in by Haynes. And Here. that's going to be the Apache's 15th yeah, foul. Yeah, that's uh, just getting ready to say. If the Zebras can start cashing in on these free throws, they're going to spend them. Yeah. Pretty close to spending the rest of the game on the free throw line. Doing a nice job of attacking the basket, but they are 0 for 3 from the free throw line this quarter. 35-33 Wabash. 4.39 to play in the third quarter. Nye gets the inbounds pass. Between the circles, high on the left side to Utter. Austin studies out of Brady Perez against the man-to-man -man defense to Reinhold. Feeds down to Utter outside of uh, Reinhold. Jordan, the back, back pass to Utter, rises up, shot block, gets his own rebound, the putback is good. Zebra's doing some work on the boards, too, there. That's about their fourth offensive rebound of the quarter, too. That was nice behind the back pass. Yeah. Jordan. It wasn't fancy. It got away from the defender. Layup, Vanderbilt is no good. Reinhold rips and runs out to Brady Perez. Brady Perez, nice cross pass. back pass to Nye. He's found yes. the shot. He'll go to the line to shoot, too. Yes, way to be unselfish, Brady Perez. Sixteen foul for Wabash. Zebra's going to the line once again. Four minutes to play in the third. We're tied at 35. And your Zebras are going to be shooting free throws the rest of the game. Keep attacking the basket, boys. I but you got to make your free throws when you get there. I think the last lead Rochester had was 13-10. Yes, you're right. Yep. Then they gave up a 10-0 run after that. Nine to line for two. First one for the senior. Is good. That breaks the Schneid, the 0 for, 0 for 3, but it was really 0 for five because when you miss the front end of a one and one you don't get the other one back but technically you're 0 for three. Corbin Wood back into the game and Utter to have a break. Jake's got six points. What three from the line? Uh, yes three and then three for four from the line. Second for Nye is good again. Rochester up 37-35 with four to play in the third quarter. One two two. Half court trap coming for the Zebras. Vogel Vander Velden, wraparound pass to his brother Eli, and he puts it in for two. Sophomore to junior, yeah. and we're tied at 37. Don't want to help up that much and leave that, that bottom block that wide open. I'm sorry, sophomore to freshman. Brady Perez fakes the three, right baseline. Almost was fouled, now to nine on the right wing. Jacob directs traffic against Mattern. Against the double team, now to Brady. Brady on the block, rises up over the freshman, he puts it in for two. Yeah, I don't think that freshman wants any part of challenging <laughs> Brady on that, especially in as much foul trouble as they're in. 39, 37, Rochester. Wabash breaks the press. Vogel travels, no call, out to Mattern. Runs around the defense, pulls up from the free throw line. He's fouled on the shot by Nye, yep. and that's going to send Mattern to the line to shoot two for the Apaches. Fouls on Ben Perez, his first, team second. You know with as riled up as this Wabash crowd's getting with 16 fouls, they were going to call something on that possession. You could just feel it. <laughs> Rochester by two. Mattern's first free throw is good. He'll have one more. Beecham comes back. Daughtry comes back for Wabash with 3.18 to play in the third quarter. Rochester by, yeah, one at 39-38. Mattern leads all scorers with 15, and he's perfect from the line, six for six. Well, we had 10 before we blinked in the first quarter. Yeah. Second one is good again for Mattern. Keep him off the line. If you're going to foul, do not foul matter. That's that's for sure. That's that's what I've gotten so far to this point. <laughs> <laughs> Quick study. Yeah. <laughs> Mr. Obvious. We're tied at 39 with uh, three minutes to play in the third quarter. Wood on the left wing. Out to Deshaun. Deshaun to the baseline. Feeds down low to Ben Perez against the double team. He puts it in for two. Boy, I just love that. Great bounce pass by, Aus uh, by Zach Deshaun. Good spin move by Ben. Way to finish strong. Rochester back by two at 41-39. Ben's got 13. Beecham out to Vogel. Vogel to Mattern, right wing around the defense at the free throw line, kicks it outside to Daughtry, wide open three left wing, is way off the mark, no good. And the rebound to Wabash, sees him going out of bounds, now to Wood has it, now Rochester runs to our right. Right hole, Do lob pass to Ben Perez, nice layup is good, and Rochester up nice by four. Work. Great job by Jordan, running the offense, keeping his head up under control, found Ben running the floor, big man gets rewarded. 2.20 to play in the third quarter, Rochester to 1-2-2. 
Beecham around the defense, goes to the left baseline. Wrap around pass. Now Daughtry has it. His foot on the way off the glass is no good. Nice block by Reinhold. Ben Perez with it. Now Reinhold has it back. Keep attacking inside five feet. I keep pounding the ball inside one way or another. I would imagine, Tony, if Rochester gets another bucket inside, Wabash is going to blow a timeout. Yeah, it feels like it. the Zebras are just strangling them inside. Deshaun runs the baseline. His shot blocked. Wood picks it up. Brady Perez, three ball left wing is good. Rochester up by seven at 46-39. A minute 40 to play in the third. Full court press by Rochester. Mattern gets it across to Vogel. Spins away from the defense. Goes to the basket. Kicks it to Beecham. His 10 foot right baseline is short. And Brady Perez with the rebound. Gives it to Reinhold. 90 seconds to play in the third. Rochester up 46 39. You can just tell Wabash is tightening up. Those shots that were smooth in the first quarter are very tight on those jumpers now. Reinhold drives the baseline. Throws up a shot over the freshman. It's no good. And the rebound to Wabash. Mm, nice Vogel has it. Yep, great move. Ben almost had the offensive yep. rebound too. Vogel coast to coast. Left handed layup. No good. And we're going to have a tie up between Wood and Beecham. It'll stay with Wabash with 65 seconds to play in the third quarter. Yeah, big stretch here this last minute. You've you've strangled, the, you've wrestled the momentum in this game. Keep pounding the ball inside, taking care of the boards. Wabash has gotten hurried shots. You can tell they're forcing some shots, not very smooth. Defensive rebound is going to be big here this last minute and then the next eight minutes of the fourth quarter too. 46-39. Rochester with the lead. Wabash to the basketball. Eli Vandervelden. Now quickly to Matter to the left wing. Matter backs it out and resets for Wabash near the timeline to Daltrey with 59. Interesting matchup here. Jordan Reinholdt taking Matter and see if he's going to shoot outside. He's got to shoot over Jordan. Vandervelden to the line. To the, to the basket. No good. Rebound to Brady Perez. Brady against the double team. Loses the handle. We're going to have a tie up or we're going we to have a foul. I think we're going to have a foul on Beecham. Yeah, Beecham jumped right on top of him. I mean, it's one thing to tie him up, but when you have to dive on top of somebody to get a jump ball, yeah. So going to the line will be Corbin Wood for, oh, no, it will be Brady. It'll be Brady. I'll beg your pardon. Brady, yeah, should be Brady. For one of the bonus, Wabash has eight. Wabash have 18 fouls? I, I have think they seven. do. Seven. Seven, okay. Yeah. Rochester with two. That was uh, Beecham's second. That was third. 45 seconds to play in the third quarter. Rochester up 46-39. Brady Perez misses mm. the free throw. Corbin Wood climbs the back of Stone, puts it back up, no good. Ball being tipped around. Matter comes out of there with it, and he's going to be fouled by Brady Perez. I'm not sure how Corbin Wood got away with uh, not fouling there. He was quick, though. He rose up. It was a longer rebound. Brady's second front end of a one-and-one one that he's missed this quarter. Uh, Zebras are getting to the free throw line, but they're only two of six. Yeah. Yeah. That bodes well. You're still going to be there the entire fourth quarter, so don't make that stop you attacking inside with drives and post feeds. Stone to the basketball. Now to Vogel. He travels no call. Nope, there is yeah. the call. 29.9. Rochester going to get it back for the final shot of the period. Yeah, it'd be nice to really get a momentum dagger here by scoring at the end because you've got Wabash completely frustrated. Yes. Shots are not smooth. Offense is not smooth. Plus, the Zebras attacking, they have to send people back, so the Zebras are getting defensive rebounds. Really good quarter. Let's finish it with a make. Zebras by seven with 20 seconds. Nye feeds down low to Utter. Austin goes to the basket, rises up. No, no good. And he tips the rebound. Oh, they're going to say Wabash tips the ball out of bounds. It'll stay with Rochester with 13.7. Might have felt bad that he didn't call foul on Wabash, uh, could be. so he gave us the ball. Utter baseline left. He'll trigger it in. Utter looks. Still looking. Robs in and over the defense to Reinhold. Now with 12. Jordan dribbles with 10. Works to his right with 9. Hands it off to 9 with 7. Back to Reinhold with 6. Jumper on the baseline is short. Utter with the rebound. Go Austin strong. at the jumper at the buzzer is no good. After 3, Rochester leads 46-39. You're listening to Zebra Basketball, 92.1 WROI and RTC TV 4.
We're going to the fourth and final quarter here at Wabash High School. The Zebras leading 46 to 39. Good quarter for the Zebras, 19 to 10. They outscored them. Zebras got to the line six times. They only made two of them though. So they're going to be shooting free throws this entire fourth quarter. So that's good. Keep getting the ball inside, drives and post feeds. Stays. I see your Twitter is open. Open. Oh no, that's fouls. That's fouls. Isn't it? Yeah. Did they hang, hang on to win? Did Indiana State hold, hold on to win today against U, U, uh, UNLV? I don't know. Do you have a final on that? I know they were up like six or seven to one, and UNLV was making a run late. Becky Malco, Riley Holland, former Lady Zebra standouts, playing out there for uh, Indiana State. Rochester starts with the basketball in the fourth quarter, up by seven. And Brady Perez feeds inside to Ben, loses it through his hands, and we're going to foul the entry pass. Is that going to be on Stone? I think so. No. Matter. Nope, it is Stone. Fourth on Stone. And Ben Perez back to the line to shoot one of the bonus for the Zebras. And end of the game for the first time for Wabash is Matt Jones. Yeah, this is going to force Wabash to go deep to their bench. Beecham's got three. Doherty's got one. Vogel's got two. As Ben makes the first. That Ben was. That's uh, that should be a foul. You this year they it's supposed to be a point of emphasis. You cannot block out the shooter trying to protect the shooter. You cannot block out the shooter until the ball hits the rim, just for reasons like that. And, the, and it's especially hard this year because the shooters are expecting not to get touched, and when those guys come in and get blocked out, it's even worse. Good for Ben. Yeah. Regained his composure and made both free throws. Rochester by nine, biggest lead of the game. Vogel against Rochester's 2-2-1, and Whoa. wide open is Jones, and he airballs it. Vanderbilt in there, the putback is good. Jones. Not with anybody within 15 feet. Yeah. A little bit too much adrenaline there. Yeah, maybe not used to playing a lot of varsity <laughs> time, and he's wide open, and that's sometimes those are the toughest shots to make. But the offensive putback pulls Wabash nice look. to seven, but back to nine as Brady Perez gets a great feed by Reinhold for from Reinhold and puts it in for another two, and Jordan, it's 50-41. Jordan's done a great job this second half of really running the offense and looking to find guys inside. Against the uh, half-court trap, Vogel over the top, Vander Belden. The Mattern, his jumper no good, but Nye picks up a foul. Yep, going to be Jake's second, team's fourth. Mattern's going to line where he's been automatic tonight. Seven for seven. Well, I thought they had him over there against the sideline and the timeline. He's almost like a quadruple uh, trap, but somehow he got it up over the top to Mattern. Free throw is good. One more coming for Mattern. Try to cut this Rochester lead to seven with 6.50 to play in the game. Again, the JV game tonight went to Wabash over Rochester, 42 to 30. Jerry Plummer, oh, he missed. Whoa. Jerry Stop Plummer and uh, Carver Hooks each with six from that contest. Brady Perez, Keep wraparound pass down low to Ben Perez. And Leader in the lane is no good and a lot of contact, no foul. And Darty now, oh. And now we're gonna have a foul on Ben Perez, a little frustration uh, foul. Unfortunately, that was a Grayson Allen foul by Ben. A little frustration. <laughs> Uh, if this were, if he played for Duke and he wore the number, whatever Allen three. wears, three? Yeah. Twitter would be blowing up right That's now. That's right. And he'd be suspended for 17 <laughs> games. <laughs> yes. <laughs> but Ben was frustrated, but he's got to keep his composure. He's a senior leader out there. He's got to keep his composure. Should have got a foul called when he took it strong. He didn't get it, but he's got to play on and make the next play. Jones. Pass there we go. away. Rochester picks it up. Ron, uh, Reinhold now. The utter. 6.25 to play in the game. Rochester by eight. Utter who lose, almost loses, he does yeah. lose the basketball out of bounds. Yep, just got to keep a dribble lower. Yeah, ex exactly, today especially. Yeah, yeah. I mean, you got a size advantage, but you keep that dribble high, and you're six whatever Utter is against those five, eight, five, seven guards. Keep it, t keep it tight, keep it low. 2-2-1 two, two, defense by the Zebras. Yep. Vogel across to Jones. Oh, jeez. Oh, Utter. And then Utter just yeah. gives uh, Vanderveld a forearm shiver. Okay, so we got a free throw contest the rest of the way. That's a Zebra 16 foul, Otters first. Not really any foul trouble for the Zebras, knock on wood. Uh, Nye with two, Reinholt with one, Utter with one, Brady with one, Ben with two, Wood with two, Deshaun yeah. with one. Vogel steps back, gives to Matter, who backs it out to the timeline in the center circle against Reinholt. He's getting Underhound it. pass to Vanderbilden. And his pass is knocked it about. There's a lot of contact going to the basket there. There is. I'm not sure these referees want to keep calling everything. I think they're hoping the game kind of levels itself out because I don't think they 
They're really comfortable calling all these fouls. We'll be here to 11. Mattern's getting away with some shuffling of feet just about every time he gets the ball. Jones, no look pass to Daughtry. His jumper from the top of the key, no good. Jordan with another rebound. 50-42 Rochester, 5.50 to play in the game. Ryan Holt between the circles, hands off to Brady Perez. Now gives it to Wood. Wood loses the basketball, now picks it back up, now to Deshaun. Zach Deshaun, a couple of the dribbles around the defense. Oh, He's hit yeah. hard by Jones, and Deshaun will go to the line to shoot one of the bonus. Jones first, team ninth. Jones didn't even move. <laughs> no, Jones <laughs> a little bit bigger than Zach. <laughs> Deshaun bounces <laughs> off of him. Well, uh... <laughs> you know, with that man bun, he get, does kind of remind me of a sumo wrestler a little bit. Yeah. Not nearly as big, but. Maybe in a lightweight division. That's a thick, thick young man. And I'm guessing they ran a lot behind him this year. <laughs> Zach Deshaun with one of the bonus. Free throw. No. Rebounded Brady Perez. Put back on the way. Nope. And defense uh, rebound to Wabash. Vander Velden. Rips and runs, coast to coast. Shot is on the way and good. Vanderbilt's got 13. And I believe he rolled an ankle. Yeah. Vanderbilt did. Try to go after whoever he's guarding. Get him the ball, get Brady the ball. Wood down little Utter. Utter off it's the glass is good. Good patience move there by Utter. Could have taken it up right away. Didn't bring the ball down, but just pumped his legs a little bit to get his bit self balance and go up strong and good for two. Rochester back by eight. Daughtry around the defense, high over the top to Vogel. Vogel in the paint, loses it. Deshaun has it. Down. He gives to Utter, now to Reinhold. Just under five to play in the game. Rochester up by eight. Has not been up by double digits yet tonight. Wood on the left wing. Gives outside to Brady Perez against Vander Velden. To Utter at the free throw line. Oh. To Brady Perez, rises up, puts a top shot up. A lot of contact, no foul. Daughtry with the rebound. Across the timeline, down low to Vander Velden. And he's going to be fouled by Utter on the way to the basket. And that's going to send Logan Vanderveld to the line to shoot one of the bonus for the Apaches. Utter's second, team seventh. That's one referee's got to call. Utter just put two hands right on the dribbler's back. That's going to get called every time. I don't think they really want to call fouls, but that's that's the obvious one you got to call. Got to be better defensively than that. Keep your hands off and keep moving. He's, you're going to have him underneath the rim. Like, I think he was headed for underneath the backboard. I don't think he would have went anywhere. Free throw's no good. Rochester with the board. Tony Stasiak, I'm David Musselman. Wabash High School, four and a half to play in the game. Rochester up by eight. Jordan loses the basketball. Daughtry with the ball. Left side of the lane. Rises up over the defense. No good. And the ball tipped out. Picked up by Brady Perez. How about that by Jack, yeah. Zach Deshaun? And now Rochester will use a 60-second timeout. You're listening to Zebra Basketball, 92.1 WROI and RTC TV 4. Back at Wabash High School, 52-44. Rochester leads with about 4.20 to play in the basketball game. And I believe that's only Rochester's second timeout. Yes, they, huh? uh, they've only used a full on the 30. Uh, update some scores. Southwood 56, McConaughey 44, end of the third quarter. 12-point lead for the uh, uh, Knights, huh? Uh, Plymouth 21, Warsaw 20 and a half. Uh, Valley 35, North Miami 27, end of the third. Thank you, Val. Thanks, Val, always. 4-16 to play in the game. Rochester by eight. Full court press by the Apaches. Jason with the inbound from the inbounder. Uh, Wood. Oh, bounce Ball pass, please. Tipped, picked up by Reinhold ahead to Utter. Austin Utter pulls it out. Resets. Now to Deshaun. Quickly to Reinhold. Got now to to, uh, mm. Ben Perez, and he knocks it off the leg of Vandervelden. It'll stay with Rochester. It's another one of those bounce pass. Probably gets through. Zach threw it, or uh, Corbin threw a chest pass. 
if he leads Ben with a bounce pass, leads him right to the rim, and he probably scores in the way this half's gone, an and one. <laughs> Out of baseline left. Gets it into Deshaun. Oh, passed up a three. Now to Wood, top of the key. Can't, oh, Corbin Wood for three. Straight oh, How about that? <laughs> I might, that might be the first three he's taken this year. He gets it to go. Rochester now up by 11 at 55-44. Oh, no, no. Great shot. <laughs> And now Vogel splits a double team and is fouled as he's going to the lane, so he'll go to the line to shoot one of the bonus for Wabash with 3.43 to play in the game. The uh, Zebra's up right now by 11 at 55 to 44. Third foul on Ben. Uh, that's one of those, you know, credit Corbin. He, he knew what he was going to do. It wasn't like he t was hesitant. He went right up with that shot, stroked with confidence, and knocked it down. Vogel, the southpaw, hits the first free throw. He'll have one more. It's his third point of the night. First point of the second half. Manchester leads Peru 52-37, end of three. And second one is good by both. We, we caught Manchester at a time they were getting hot. Yeah, well, look at the beginning of their schedule and who they play. Yeah. I mean, that's a murderer's row in those first five games. Rochester breaks the press. Utter to Deshaun, out to Wood. Behind the arc, gives to Utter. Austin holds, now drives the baseline against the defense. Loses the basketball handle. Now picks the ball up. Right wing pass to Deshaun. He'll take a wide open three on the wing. It's no good off the mark. And Daughtry with the rebound. Man, let's face it. Mark Underwood's coach in Manchester. He's won a few games in his career. You knew it was coming, didn't yeah. you? Jones, layup is good. That's a great job by Matter. He saved him going out of bounds right into a wide open Jones. And he cuts the Rochester lead to 7.32nd Wabash timeout. You're listening to Zebra Basketball, 92.1 WROI and RTC TV 4. Five to play in the basketball game. Rochester lead is seven at 55-48. Deshaun gets away with a double dribble oh. and then has a strip from behind by Daughtry. Vander Belden somehow saved from going out of bounds. No look past a matter and three right wing for the Apaches oh. is good. Whatever you do, you cannot leave that guy open. And Wabash has cut the 10-point, 11-point lead by the Zebras down to four in about 10 seconds. Nye across the timeline, picks his way through the traffic. Down low to Ben Perez, he rises up, foul on the shot by Jones, and that's going to send the senior Ben Perez to the line to shoot two with 2.35 to play in the game. Rochester now only by four. Yeah, Mattern's got 19. His first three since the first quarter, but man, with that kid's, that kid's shot, he was way wide open. And now they're beginning to pick up the intensity yep. full court. First free throw is good by Ben Perez. <laughs> ben Perez, Vogel reaches in to slap the uh, free throw shooter, uh, give him a five, and he thought, oh, wait a minute, that's the black team. <laughs> so they went ahead and exchanged fives anyway. Second for Ben Perez is no good, and Vogel with the rebound. 56-51, Rochester two and a half to play in the game. Mattern, right side, Vandervelden. Down low to Jones, jump pass to Mattern, in the paint, jumper is good. Matter has 21, yeah. and he's cut the uh, Rochester lead to three. 56-53, one 2, two. Half-court uh, trap by Wabash. Nye handles a tough pass against the triple team. Loses the handle. Picked up by Reinhold. Out of bounds. They're going to say last touch by yeah. Matter. It'll stay with Rochester. This might be one of those times where, regardless of what defense you're in, somebody's sticking with Matter and not leaving him. I mean, he's, he's knocking down any open shot he's getting, and he's getting the free throw, and he's automatic there. Nobody else is really scoring for him. Nye looks to get it in. Oh, oh. Does so to Reinhold near the Wabash basket. Reinhold crosses the timeline against Daughtry in the man-to-man -man defense. Now to Utter. Utter down to Ben Perez. Backs his way in, throws up a shot. It's good again. Going to the well. Big Ben coming up for us here. He has now got 20. Have a night. Minute 45 to play in the game. A five-point lead for Rochester. Vander Velden. Mattern, layup is good and a foul. 
Yep. Jake Nye has picked up another foul. That's going to send Mattern back in the line for one, looking to cut this lead to two. This game's turned into a showdown between Big Ben and Little Luke. <laughs> and little Luke has got himself 23. Going Matter at the line. A free throw on the way is good. Wabash uses the timeout. It's a 60. You're listening to Zero Basketball, 92.1 WROI and RTC TV4. Welcome back to Wabash High School. 100 seconds to play in the game. Rochester leads by two, and after the Wabash timeout, Rochester will have it. They need to go the length of the floor. Tony, timeouts? Yeah, timeouts. Uh, the Zebras have a 30 and two fulls left, and same with Wabash. One quick stat that's really yeah, evened out the free throws. Both teams have now shot 10 free throws just in this half. Wabash 8 for 10, Zebras 5 for 10, and the Zebras have missed three front ends of one and one, yeah. so that could be more than that. And I got a feeling we're going to have our opportunities again. We yep. got to hit them. Possession is the most important thing here. Tough pass by yeah, Nye. Yeah. Utter couldn't handle it. It goes yeah. out of bounds. We go back to Wabash. Kind of telegraphed the pass. Jake stared down Utter along the sidelines, which allowed Wabash to slide their defense over. I think he needed to reset that one back to the other side of the floor because Wabash was playing that pass to Utter. 90 seconds to play. Rochester up 58-56. Matter on top of the key. Vander Velden holds against Utter. Left side to Jones, quickly to Vogel. Vogel left wing behind the arc, and now we're going to have a foul down low on Rochester, and that's going to send Logan Vandervelden to the line for one, uh, two free throws for the Apaches. Foul's going to be on Jordan, his second, team's ninth. Whistle blew. I was hoping maybe for an illegal screen. Well, I think Vandervelden fell down, making an illegal screen, and as he fell, the referee thought he must have been pushed. Free throw is no good. Which I'm okay with Vanderbilt on yeah, line. Yeah. It's not mattering. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> the sophomore with one more for the Apaches. A minute 21 to play in the game. Rochester by two. I'm about to the point where any Wabash Apache that shoots besides yeah, Mattern, I'm okay with. Yeah, yeah. Second one is good. One point lead for the Zebras. In this quarter was 11, not too long ago. Nye against the triple team. Cross court pass to Brady Perez. Down low to Ben Perez. Pass. And now we're going to have a reach in foul on Ooh. Jones. And that's going to send Ben Perez to the line to shoot two. Yeah, that's one. If Brady bounce again, if Brady bounce passes that, it's a drop step, layup, finish all night. Yeah, but he threw that chest pass, and it allows the defender to reach in there. Luckily, Zebras get bailed out with a foul. That foul's on Jones, his third. Zebras, 10 fouls now for Wabash. They're going to shoot two the rest of the way. This was no good for Ben. He'll have one more. Wood in, nigh out. Ben three for five from the free throw line this quarter. Ben Perez with one more looking to push this lead to two. Second for the senior. Better this time. And it goes down at 59-57. Yeah. Matter now with the basketball. Rochester, no press. He'll pick him up at the timeline. Let's hope these free throws don't come back to haunt the Z's. 60 seconds to play in the game here at Wabash. Rochester by two. Jones high on the right side. Vander Velden left side to Vogel. Here comes Dottie. Th uh, oh. Fakes a three, drives it, layup on the way. We're going to have a foul on Rochester, and they build the young man out, Ooh. and that's going to send Daughtry to the line to shoot two for the Apaches. I think they're going to get Ben on that, so that's going to be Ben's fourth which is a big foul there. Tenth foul, so both teams are shooting two the rest of the way. Daughtry has not gone to the free throw line yet tonight as a big spot for the freshman. He's a double-figure scorer, averaging about 10 points a game as a freshman, which is impressive. But he's not been in this spot much, and he hasn't been there yet tonight. And you can tell by that free throw. A little tight. Yep. Misses the first one. That's a big miss. Zebra's got to make sure they're taking care of the boards here. Don't give up a cheap offensive rebound if he misses. And set up your press breaker on a make. 
Second one's good. 50 seconds. 5-0 seconds to play in the game. Rochester by one. Full court press by Wabash. Reinhold to Brady Perez. Across to Utter. Skip it. Utter. Woo! Mm -hmm. Picks up his dribble. Just about travel. Use a timeout if you got it. And Rochester will use one. Yep, good call. Yep, yep. to 30. You're listening to Zebra Basketball. 92.1 WROI and RTC TV 4. Seconds, 4 0 seconds to play in the game. Rochester leads 59 58. Both teams in the double bonus. Possession arrow to, uh, to Wabash. I think Brady Perez. Time where Jordan, Jordan's got to come and get the ball, maybe utter. And those guys can't leave Corbin on an island out there. Yeah, get the ball in Jordan's hands. He's got the most experience in this. He's got to keep the ball in his hands, run the offense, make a play. 30 seconds. Reinhold against the double team, splits a double team, yep. works to the right wing with 23. Oh, don't pick picks up, up his dribble, now to Utter, back yep. to Reinhold with 20. They're going to have to foul. Yeah, yep. and that's what you want. Darty fouls, Reinhold will go to the line to shoot two with 20 seconds to play in the game. Rochester by one at 59-58. That's what you want to see, your most experienced guard on the floor, Jordan Reinhold, keeping the ball in his hands, trying to make a play, going to the free throw line. He's two for two, but that was back in the second quarter. Reinhold eyes the first one. Short. On the first one, they'll have one more. This is the big one here. This at least gets it up two. 20 seconds to play in the game. Rochester by one. Right home with the second one coming. Second one for the junior. Good this time. Go. All right. 60-58. Matter with the breeze. basketball with 17. Cross the timeline with 15. Don't leave Matter. Middle circle with 13. Vanderbilt with 10. Left side to Jones with eight. He's coming back around. Ryan Vogel don't with seven. Him. Don't leave Vogel him. Don't leave six. him. You're good. You're David good. With don't four. him. And now we're going to have a timeout by Wabash with 4.5 to play in a game. It's a 60-second timeout. You're listening to Zebra Basketball, 92.1 WROI and RTC TV 4. Two to play in the game. Rochester leads 60 to 58. It'll be Wabash basketball to bounce baseline left. Rochester has two timeouts left, two fulls. Wabash has a full and a 30. Daughtry will trigger it in around Utter. Four and a half seconds to play in the game. Guard Rochester Madden. by two. Guard Matter, get through, get through, get through. Come on, Ben. Get Daughtry, go. got to get it in. Five seconds. Yes. Out. Good job, Zeus. Good D. Rochester yes. forces a turnover. We'll get it back. With four and a half seconds to play in the game, and the yep. Zebras will use a timeout. Good timeout. It's Good a time. 60, but we'll take a 30. You're listening to Zebra Basketball, 92.1 WROI and RTC TV 4.
Four and a half seconds to play in the game. Rochester up 60 to 58, and Rochester just forced a five second count on the inbounds, and yeah. they will have it back. They'll need to go the length of the floor. Great defense, kept Mattern from getting the ball. And the Zebras, this is important, they do have a timeout left. You've got to let your guys know that. Whoever's taking the inbounds, you've got to have that clock in your head. And if it gets to four, you've got to use that timeout. And also, you have to meet your pass. You've got to cut hard. You have to catch. Don't try to dribble. Possession is the most important thing. So catch the ball clean and understand you're going to get fouled. Don't try to do too much with the ball. Hunter will trigger it in against the full court press. Yep. Hunter. Perez, Reinhold, Nye, and Ben. Got him, Brady. Oh. Hunter, he's got to get it in. Does so to Nye. Right. He is foul with three and a half. Yep. Foul on Matter and only his first. Well, as we, as that, right before that five second count, you're watching Matter come mm -hmm. off the screen. He's wide open on the left wing. And because of the size difference yeah. between the inbounder and the guarder, the, the guy guarding yep. the inbound, he couldn't see him. Yeah, that's that's where it helps to put your big guys and have bigger guys guarding the inbounder. That's why you have coaches do that because it's difficult. That guy's counting in his head as well, and he's looking for one specific guy, but you're making it difficult. So Wabash will take a 60-second timeout. You're listening to Zebra Basketball, 92.1 WROI and RTC TV 4. Point five seconds to play in the game. Rochester leads 60 to 58. Both teams down to their final timeout. Yep. And jo uh, Jacob Nye at the line for two free throws for the Zebras. Yep, both of them, this one's over. Yeah, this is important that you know you have two versus the, just a one and one. Nice first one. Yep. yep. Rochester is, now by three. This is what you want out of your senior. You know, a guy that's had some ups and downs like the team this year and has really fought back. He's kind of given a lot of spark to the Zebras here the second half. Wanted the ball there in that possession, getting to the free throw line. Nye with one more to seal it. Three and a half seconds to play in the game. Jake's second one, good yep. again. 62-58, yep. Corbin Wood will come, out, come in yes. and Nye will sit. Don't have to do much, right? 3.5 seconds, they do have a timeout, but I don't even know that I would guard really here. I mean, you're up four, you don't want to foul a three-point shooter. Go, go out, there we go. The buzzer, there we go. go. Yes, the Johnnies. Rochester wins a big one on the road, 62-58. Postgame show coming up next, 92.1 WROI.